89 and Vine team. This is Christoph Kaiser. I decided just now to do a quick little movie um, to acquaint you all with where we are in the design process. A lot of what we're doing right now is behind the scenes and I, I feel like from the outside it may look like we're not doing anything so <laughs> I just wanted to share with you a little bit of our process. Um, where we are in the process. We are very close by the way to submitting perspectives for review. These are going to be what I call the money shots that tell the story of what 89 and Vine Town Center is. Um, preceding that, however, it was essential for us to do a site plan to figure out where we're going uh, when fully phased. And then subsequent to that is building a digital model that lets us visualize and show the world you know, what this place is, is going to be about. Um, you're looking right now at a, an AutoCAD plan, site plan of the town center area, which I think a lot of you have seen already before. Um, uh, just briefly, this is 89, Highway 89. This is north. North is up. Um, this is the roundabout that is forthcoming. Um, the hatched areas here are the vineyards. And then over here, this blue area is the, the, the housing development. Um, and then to the south is our commercial area. So coming in here, um, we're introducing this idea of a main street, sort of Main Street America. As you come up through here, this is where you have smaller retail spaces divided into 30-foot 30, 30 bays. And the design of this area is, is, a, um, is a phased design. So you can start at the north and build one or two of these bays and then grow to the south as, um, as the need arises. In the center of the project, bounded by these hard lines of sort of the architecture, we have a public park um, at the center of which is an amphitheater that has a water feature at its south. That water feature doubles as a, as a stage. Um, to the north, we have a large barn structure which has the wine tasting center. And then to the north of that, there's a very small wedding chapel that's tucked into this bosque of trees. Um, the trees and other vegetation help separate a lot of things in this project. Um, here you can see that separation is mediated by trees between this wedding chapel area and what we're calling the necklace, which runs along the east edge of the town center area. This is a, a necklace of duplex units, uh, one and two story, 1,200 square feet approximately. They vary slightly in size. 30% um, of these we are proposing are two story units and the rest are one-story units. But the idea behind these is that they, while being comfortable houses for people that, that uh, don't mind being closer to something like a town center, they create a visual backdrop, almost like a small town scene, behind, um, behind the town center area. Um, over here we have two um, larger buildings. One we see as a hotel, sort of a resort hotel, a little bit European style, and the other one could also be a hotel. Um, it's really up for grabs what this could be, but we think this could also be um, connected with the culinary school. Culinary school also has the option of occupying uh, the east wing of, um, of this larger building up here. Let me move right now to... I'm going to show you a quick sketch sort of looking at an axiometric of this scene. We're about 180 feet in the air looking at the site. Um, so down here at the bottom, um, just, just below my cursor here, is the roundabout. This would be the signage for the property. Here we have the vineyards um, coming up. And we're proposing pulling some of these vineyards into the project. Um, now I realize that's a red flag. We've zoned the areas that are for vineyards, but um, even if we are being suggestive, even if these are hedges, um, I, I think it would lend itself to bring the, the vines or something, um, it could even be agriculturally styled planting of another kind that would come into the project um, to the point of the introduction of the Main Street scene. Um, this is Main Street and you can see this is sort of uh, shed architecture or shed construction that we are um, um, we're introducing as an architectural sort of aesthetic for the project. Um, here again is our, our central green space and then the large um, barn structure beyond that has the wine tasting center. This is the chapel. And then at the edge of this you can see this idea of a necklace of these duplex units sort of at the edge of town, if you will. Um, and let me move from here quickly to our digital model. Again, looking from the bird's eye view initially. 
I'm going to swing us down to the roundabout, looking into the project. Again, this is where our signage would be, and I think the signage wants to be um, embedded firmly into the vineyards. So I'm trying as best as possible for the vineyards to not be window dressing, to not be this, uh, this thing that we have at the edge of the project, and then you're not really confronted with it again, but rather to be something that, it ha that is sort of authentically integrated in the project as much as, as, much as possible. So if, if, if at all possible, I would urge us to, to take um, these areas that we've designated as vineyard and if possible, let them bleed a little bit further into the project. Um, I'm gonna take us now down to more of an eye level perspective. Um, we're still working on this idea out here, but we have an idea of, of using additional um, agricultural iconographic architecture, in this case, grain bins or grain silos um, as a um, one of these would be the center for a small beer garden, a small place to come grab a beer at sunset. Um, another one could be the, um, the, the check-in desk for a series of boutique hotels. So each one of these is a hotel room and you can reserve on your anniversary, you can reserve one of these things and come out and literally be situated in the, the vineyards um, and have your own little spot and your own little um, agricultural building to occupy. Um, I think it would be a draw, incredibly, for I think um, a pretty broad spectrum of, of, of demographic. Um, this is looking into Main Street here. Um, again, the vineyards come right to the doorstep of Main Street. Um, Main Street is a pedestrian friendly, if not pedestrian dominant zone. Um, this is a one-way street on this side, and then there's a there's a median park, and then there's, a, there's another, um, this street's going in the other direction, parallel parking on the sides. Uh, pedestrian walkways traversing this pretty much continuously all the way through. Um, and then at the end of this main street it opens up quite dramatically to this green space which is also the amphitheater which is also a water retention area. Um, so we're we're proposing a swale so this um, this is lower at this end than it is on the other end. And what is a water feature most of the time most of the time um, can simply by way of flipping a switch you turn the water off and this becomes a granite platform for outdoor concerts with a pretty pretty great perspective in both directions. One direction looking to the south you have Main Street with uh, a bar and a coffee shop and their outdoor seating looking on to this outdoor venue and here in this tilted plain of grass you have hundreds of people on picnic blankets um, enjoying enjoying the outdoor concert and then behind us here we have the the grand building which contains the wine tasting center um, we're working as much as we can with the existing topography in the site which is actually um, there is quite a bit of topography and what you see in our digital model here um, is real so when you get down into into these areas and you get hints of this geometry that is that is real geometry like right here you can see can see the tilted shift of the topography. Um, so as we get further north on our site we step up and we're proposing with this larger building to do that a little bit more architecturally um, to have a retaining wall and a platform that we define that the wine tasting center and what will potentially be the culinary school sits on top of and that gives you a viewing deck um, once you've arrived at the site, this is a portion of the building you can see straight through. The wedding chapel is beyond. There's another parking area that's through, um, that's through this this area here. And if I can just turn this around real quickly here, looking back, and then over here to the left we have potentially culinary school if if. Um, if this area is not overtaken by the culinary school, I think this would be a pretty a um, lot of synergy between a culinary school that's cooking amazing food and the wine tasting center that's that's going to be a great place to watch the sunset over Jerome. Um, so let me, I'm getting a little off track here, let me get us back. Okay, back over here we're looking at the end. This is, uh, we're seeing this is a water feature, this is a pedestrian um, ramp that brings us up to this upper level. And then beyond this a little bit further north, we have the Wedding Chapel, Bosque of Trees. I think these are going to be the highest trees in the project. And then beyond that, you can see the necklace of duplex units. 
Um, I think that wraps us up right now. I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Um, we're going to continue to work on this digital model. The next steps for us are to continue with the vegetation, making all of these vineyards kind of real, so that when we're placing our cameras and looking for our money shots, we can literally be, um, be in the vineyards and, and find some incredible uh, vantage points from which to tell this, this story, which I think is going to be pretty compelling. So there it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We will, I think we'll do this again when we're closer to, um, to doing our final renderings. Take care and thank you. Bye-bye.